I want to talk about the inverse of the square matrix. Let's take a look at an example. I have a equals 5, negative 3, 7, negative 4, and b equals negative 4, 3, negative 7, 5. First, let's multiply a times b. So, I have negative 20 plus 21 is 1. I have 15 minus 15 is 0. I have negative 28 plus 28 is 0. And I have 21 minus 20 is 1. This is the identity matrix I. So when I multiply it to a times b, I get the identity matrix. Let's try b times a. I get negative 20 plus 21, 1. I get 12 minus 12, 0. I get negative 35 plus 35, which is 0. And I get 21 minus 20, which is 1. Again, I get the identity matrix I. There's some special relationship between matrices A and B. Since A times B equals I and B times A equals I, we say that A is an invertible matrix and that B is the inverse of A. And this is how we write it, B equals A inverse. Now, this is really important because this is as close as matrices come to having a, quote, reciprocal. You know, like the reciprocal of 5 is 1 fifth. And we use numbers like that a lot when we're solving equations. You know, if you're using, if you're solving 5x equals 10, you could multiply both sides by 1 fifth. And so, similarly, when we're working on matrix equations, which we will be in a little bit, we'll want to have the idea of an inverse matrix so we can solve these matrix equations. And so, anytime we can find a matrix that does this, um, we call it the inverse of A. Now, you should remember, not all square matrices are invertible, and that's also like numbers. Not all numbers have a reciprocal. This one doesn't. So, as, as we'll see in the future, sometimes you won't be able to find the inverse of a square matrix.